Thousands of rockets have been fired into Israel from the Gaza Strip in a surprise attack by the Hamas militant group on Saturday morning. Israel's defense minister said Hamas had launched a war and its troops were fighting against the enemy at every location. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in a statement, We are at war and we will win. Israeli media says nearly 200 people have been wounded in the continuing Hamas attack, according to statements from various hospitals. At least two dozen are seriously or critically wounded, a report by the Times of Israel said. The report added that at least six people have been confirmed killed. Phone footage also showed Hamas fighters attempting to reach Israel on small boats, and in a highly unusual development, a number of fighters appeared to have crossed the border using paragliders, reaching the town of Stara Widers, reaching the town of Sterot where gun battles were heard. Air raid sirens sounded across southern and central Israel, and there were explosions in the cities of Tel Aviv, Ashkelon, Yavni, and Kefar Aviv. The military declares a state of war alert, it said in a statement. Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said Hamas had made a grave mistake this morning and launched a war against the state of Israel. A military spokesperson for Israel said Hamas fired 2,500 rockets in Saturday's attack, while the group's military commander Mohammed Dayef said 5,000 rockets had been launched. This is the day of the greatest battle to end the last occupation on earth, Mr. Dayef said on Hamas radio. The UK's Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly, said, The UK unequivocally condemns the horrific attacks by Hamas on Israeli civilians. The UK will always support Israel's right to defend itself. The attacks come after weeks of heightened tensions along Israel's volatile border with Gaza and heavy fighting in the Israeli-occupied West Bank. The Lebanese armed group Hezbollah has said they are following the situation in Gaza and are in direct contact with the leadership of the Palestinian resistance. It said recent events are a decisive response to Israel's continued occupation and a message to those seeking normalization with Israel. Earlier, the military chief of Hamas had called on armed groups in Lebanon to join the fighting against Israel.